My name is Keith Nitka, and I am proud to be the Battleship Operations Manager here at Nordicus on board Battleship Wisconsin. And I want to thank you for joining me today on this Whiskey Wednesday virtual adventure. So uh, if you remember uh, a few months ago when, uh, when we got around to the springtime, I said we were going to do a few things, and as long as it was safe to do, we were going to go and see these different parts of the ship. So today we're going up there. Today we're going to go up to... Uh, to the radar platform and I'm going to talk about the uh, the SPS 49 and everything else that's found up there on the radar platform. So if you're ready we're going to take a walk. It's going to take us a few minutes but we're going to get up there. So come with me. So thank you for making this trip with me up here to the radar platform. So as you can see we've got a really good uh, bird's eye view of downtown Norfolk and also Portsmouth and I am directly below the AN SPS 49. Now, we are aloft. Now, the term aloft in the Navy means going 15 feet or higher, and it requires a harness that you need to wear to get to that point. Uh, we are definitely uh, more than 15 feet high at this point. The ship specs uh, tell me that from the waterline to the mast, that is 171 feet in the air. Uh, so I would, I would assume that to be the very top of the mast there. Uh, this 171 feet. Where we are, light ship, uh, from the waterline, I'm going to say we're roughly 150 feet or so up into the air. So the AN SPS 49 is a United States Navy two dimensional long range air search radar and is built by the Raytheon Corporation. The 49 provides an air contact bearing, range, and altitude. It was the primary air search radar for Wisconsin during her last commissioning in the 1980s and 1991. The SPS 49 operates in the 851 to 942 megahertz or L band and has a minimum range of 3 nautical miles and a maximum range of 256 nautical miles. Its ceiling or maximum height uh, to, to scan the, uh, the horizon is 150,000 feet. Now that orange peel-shaped parabolic antenna creates a narrow 3.3 degree beam. That 3.3 degree beam uh, lowers our probability of detection or jamming. The radar can rotate at 6 RPMs or revolutions per minute in long range mode or at 12 RPMs in either short or long range mode. Default is set at 12 RPMs to provide more frequent scans against incoming missiles. The antenna is stabilized to compensate for the ship's pitch and roll to a maximum of minus or plus 15 degrees for both pitch and roll in the 12 RPM mode. The radar weighs approximately 3,500 pounds and that parabolic uh, shaped antenna is approximately 14 feet by 24 feet. This radar was first tested in 1965 and was introduced to the fleet in 1975 and it was one of the primary air surge radars for numerous ships of the U.S. fleet as well as Spain, Poland, Taiwan, and some Canadian ships also use the ANSPS-49. Now I once got a question as to what exactly the ANSPS-49 means. What do all those letters and numbers mean? So AN stands for Joint Service Army-Navy, Army A and Navy. SPS are the symbols for installation. There are quite a few of them, but in this case it is the first S is surface ship, the P is radar, and the last S is search. So the AN is Army Navy, and then the SPS is surface surface ship, radar, search. 49 is the number in the series. So the AN SPS 49, of course, is just that. It's an Army Navy surface ship, radar, search. Uh, did you also know that radar is an acronym? I actually didn't know this when I first started looking into this. I just thought it was a character on that TV show, MASH. Uh, radar is radio detection and ranging. So the RA in radio, radio, or radar, radio detection and ranging. Above the SPS-49 on the mast are numerous UHF antennas. And at the very top is the AS-3240 Tactical Air Navigation Radar, or TACAN. That's that dish all the way at the top. And if you've ever been here, uh, in the early spring, you might have seen some osprey who built a nest up there on top of the Takan antenna. 
directly in front of the SPS 49 here is this. This is the AN SPS 67. Uh, it is the surface search radar that we use here on board Battleship Wisconsin. It is the first mod, so what you're actually looking at is the antenna array for the SPS 10. Uh, some people come on board and they say, oh, I didn't know you had an SPS 10. Well, we didn't. We had an SPS 67. The very first AN SPS 67 mod used the AN SPS 10 radar array. So that's why we have that here. So that is the radar platform here on board Battleship Wisconsin. Uh, now this is very much off of the beaten path. Like I said, you need to wear harnesses and be trained to come up to this high uh, an altitude on board the ship. But it is definitely something that you can see when you come across the ship. The radar you can actually see from lots of different points uh, here in downtown Norfolk spinning. Uh, I do hope that you come and visit us someday. Get to see this stuff, not necessarily up close and personal like we are right now, but you can see it. Uh, thank you, and have a great day.